Hi everybody, I'm going into my pantry to get some apples because I'm doing a dessert for the two family homestead challenge. Right, I think I've got it right this time. And I said that I would make apple crumble. So here we go. I'll get some apples. These ones I canned a little while ago and they have... You can see it, bits of rhubarb in there that I added. And we'll swing around over here. And I'll also mix in a can, can of apples. Yeah, because, uh, let's get this right. Yeah, those ones. Aussie apples. It's okay to buy that brand because they are Aussie. Rightio, let's go in the kitchen and we'll try not to trip over dogs They're somewhere and they come charging in and they get between me and whatever it is they want to see and they knock me over. Right, now we need butter, probably half of that which is 100 grams, maybe 150 grams and dark brown sugar and white sugar with cinnamon in it perhaps a cup maybe a bit more depends I'll taste it and see sultanas and my trusty old <laughs> don't look at that container the inside's clean trusty old self raising flour that's actually just a bit of cocoa on the outside of it there rightio I'll be back in a moment Okay, there is one and a half cups of all-purpose or self-raising flour. All-purpose? No, it's self-raising flour. And there is half a cup of cinnamon sugar that I make myself. I just get caster sugar and add some cinnamon to the strength that I like. And I love my little jars. They're really pretty. So I've got half a cup of that and half a cup of this very, very strong brown sugar not sure what they call it what, oh, what do they call that it's called <laughs> dark brown sugar <laughs> there we go that gives a really nice richness to it and i uh, will use this little dish unless i end up with too much mixture so i can't show you what i'm doing because i have to hold the camera and i can't do that okay i'll mix it up and you basically chop the butter into the flour and sugar and then you work it in your fingers until it becomes a, a sticky mess and it has to be a sticky mess and then you make do dollops and you drop them on top of the apple mixture it's very simple rightio okay taking the lid off and apples are looking really good but we won't need the juice and this is how the crumble will look and if you want to use a bit more butter you can but I used about 100 grams and I probably should have used about 150 but hubby has been told that he has to watch his butter intake so we're cutting down just a little bit and I forgot to tell you we put sultanas on top of the apples All right. so I will put this together and show you what it looks like before it goes in the oven Bye. Okay, I've sprinkled a bit more sugar on there because those apples have no sugar in them. And you can tell the difference between my home canned apples and the shop bought ones. Mine are a bit brown, but it really doesn't matter. Handful of sultanas. And we'll crumple this on top. And then I might put a couple of daubs of butter on top of that. So it goes in the oven on 180, 180C, 180C Celsius for Krista. That's how I remember it, because my name's Krista. So she's a bottler Krista. He's going to put this in the oven and then show it to you once it's cooked. Rightio. Bye. Okay, it was a bit dry, so I added a tiny bit more butter to it. So I think I put about... 150 
grams into the, the topping. And if you wish to, you could add some oats, but I prefer it to not have oats. So I'll just crumple it. Let's see if I can do this with the with the tablet. I use a tablet. There we go. Just crumple that on there like that. And a little bit there. It's a lot of crumble. So that's my favourite part. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I have forgotten. I'll tell you what, my hands will never be good for a hand commercial. Maybe years ago. Not these days. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Got a little bit left. Anyway, let's see if we just collect that out of there. And we'll keep crumbling it on the top. There we go. I won't show you the mess. Messy kitchen. There we go. Okay, and that's what it's supposed to look like. Well, I forgot to show you, I used a pint and a half jar, which I think you can still get from uh, Ball, although I bought these in Australia, had them shipped into Australia, cost a small fortune, and I used a small 400 gram, I think it was 400 gram, tin of apples, so I guess between the two, it's around a quart, so I suppose about a quart of apples will do the job and my apples were very loosely packed in that jar so if you're packing your apples fairly tight a quart jar will definitely be enough and this little dish should actually feed six people six skinny people but it could feed four nicely covered people and it can feed two greedy people <laughs> like me and my husband so I'll probably have some tomorrow for breakfast. Radio. It's done. And it's turned out quite well. Nice and gooey. So I'll serve it up in a moment with some lovely whipped cream. It's got a little bit of sugar in there and some vanilla. So hang on a minute and you'll see the final product. Looks good, doesn't it? Now I'm going to sit down and relax and be greedy. Thumbs up. Bye from the butler. Thank you.